You should know that it's common practice in fishermen to uh, pull up these signs and junk them. Because uh, big, long American rivers are famous for getting increasing loads of mercury. Yeah. Ah, counterthink. So why are we not supposed to eat humans anymore? Because they contain toxic levels of mercury thanks to all the fillings in their teeth. <laughs> All right, now here's a bit of measurement. Tile fish on the do not eat list. Blue fish, sea trout, canned tuna, orange roughy grouper. Yes. Now, be sure and take government limits with a grain or two of history. Consider the case of lead. You should know that the American government tried to whitewash lead poisoning of children by telling the mothers in Maryland that if they had 20 micrograms of lead, they're okay. And this worked for some mothers. But you should know that the current evidence is very clear that the IQ and the brain power of children goes down with less than five lead. Now, remember this, you see. So when you go home and start talking about lead, and here is a person, you know, around the table, you'll come across people who know everything. I used to myself. <laughs> but after I became 21, my folks they improved brain power dramatically. <laughs> yes. My mother and dad, instead of being vertical fossils, they became wise. They became wise. <laughs> yes. All right. So be careful about these toleration limits, you see. Granted, they're hard to, to measure and deal with, but it's uh, a real item. OK. Mm. Okay, not that one. Listen. Factory food. Half of salmon are factory raised. This artificial and restrictive environment is damaging to their health, just like it is already banned to factory chickens, ducks, turkeys, veal calves, and may I say, people. You should know, I, I have a little book called The Intellectual Against the City, and here's what it says in the front cover. We shall solve the problem of the city by leaving it. <laughs> yes. So many people nowadays are raised in factory style. Yes. And this is very quite, di quite hard on the brain, personality, and health. All right. Click. Thank you. Problems with fish. Not only mercury. But uh, polycyclic, what else? PCBs, DDTs, FIP, pesticides, viruses, and fish worms, even in Norway. By the way, they steal B12. So Diphobothrum latum is famous for B12 deficiency in, in, uh, in Norway. Yes. Oh, DDT? Huh? I thought DDT was outlawed. But do you know what the big um, greed problems are not limited to Wall Street? Here's what the big companies did. They put DDT in barrels and they sent it south of the border. Tons of it. And if you really will study and look, you'll find out that DDT is being used right now in Africa by the ton. Why? because it's a little cheaper than better agents. They're using it right now. And you should know that all over the world, DDT is turning up in mother's milk, mother's tissue, child's tissue. DDT is around. Uh, 
and it's bad news on the adrenal glands. It's, uh, uh, it's a bad news affair, any way you look at it. Okay. Now, uh, believe it or not, these little creatures of, on the lower right, that's microscopic. That's a little critter. Uh, and these, these little critters bioamplify toxins. And the reason for this is organic chemistry. Um, these bad chemicals concentrate in fat. And this is technically called the oil-water partition coefficient. So the more times that this mercury and carcinogens and mutagens for aging and a lot of other things. The more times they turn over in biology, the more the fat concentrates them so that it becomes teeny, little, more, more significant and deadly. Yes. Something to really be aware of. Half of modern fish factory grown. By the way, they're worse. Less exercise and uh, worse environment. And junkier food fed to them. And if you'll get on your Stanford database, which incidentally is free, www.highwire.stanford.edu not com. And then, now that's college. In the middle on the right side of the window, you'll see advanced options. And you click on it, and then you'll get into the real ones. And if you'll take adverse effects of, say, mercury, or fish adverse effects, you'll find dozens and dozens and dozens of references from all over the world, including the Arctic Circle, the Great Lakes, Oak Ridge, Tennessee, uh, and the various oceans, all over the place. Because ocean currents, you see, spread this stuff, this junk, so that Look, you can boil this down in one sentence. The planetary environment is becoming globalized. Got it? See, when you, when you put poisons in the water and these waters move, then you get into big troubles. And that's where we're at. <clears throat> OK, the bioaccumulation of methylmercury uh, and you see these tiny little organisms, they get a hold of this, uh, particularly the sediments in the bottom of lakes, rivers, and oceans are getting loaded with these toxins of various sorts. We're using mercury here as just an ecological marker, you know. So, uh, all right. Then the little fish eat them, the medium fish eat them, and this goes up the line. <clears throat> so that <clears throat> second and third hand mercury consumption becomes dangerous. Better believe it. Okay. All right. Now, this is not just a gold mining problem. You have industrial waste, agricultural runoffs, like. Fungicides to keep the grapes from molding. Mercury, power plant waste, big city sewer, carcinogens and mutagens, combustion engine waste, chemical plant effluence, smog effluence, and miscellaneous toxicants. Really, so our environment. You remember Revelation speaking of this, that God is going to come and destroy the men who are destroying what? The earth. the earth. This is exactly where we're at. Hey. Uh -oh. Yeah. So that this fancy fish dish 